Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be learning about variables in Power BI. What are these variables? How we can use it? So hope you are familiar with measures, how to create the measures, right? So if you have not watched how to create a measures, we have created multiple um, videos on DAX available in this DAX playlist. Please go through that. You can watch it and come back to this video. Okay. So here we will create variables. Okay. Just like how we used to create the measures. Now all the intermediate results, all calculations, multiple, instead of using multiple measures, everything we can use in a single variable and return a that value. Okay. Now practically we will see what exactly I, I told you right now. The same thing we will see practically now. I will take one table. In this, I am able to see the category okay the category and how much is the sales made now the same thing i also want in terms of percentage how much is this category is contributing right so i want to see that values so to make this font bigger i'll go to view in this options and settings I mean, customize this current theme. I'll go for text and I'll just increase the size of this and I'll make it semi bold. I'll make it 14 so that you can see in a bigger font. OK, now you are able to see these values, right? So this is the value along with this in this table. I also want to see the percentage, how much furniture is contributing how much office supplies is contributing technology along with the sales i also want to see the percentage okay so you can achieve in various ways you can achieve the same in various ways but today i'm here to explain you how you can achieve this using variable concepts okay now i'll try i am selecting this table now i am going to create one new measure okay so you have to select new measure so ideally how we how we used to achieve we used to create right to get this percentage value first we have to calculate the total sales as well as i have to freeze this value this this complete sales value, I have to freeze it, right? 22,67,200, I have to freeze it. And the freezed value, I have to use as a denominator. And then I have to calculate the percentage, right? That is what I we used to do in the measures. Now, the same thing I will achieve using variables. Now, I will write here percentage value. Or I'll write here percentage. For this, this is the variables, variables I'm creating. So I'll give shift enter so that I'll come to the next line. Okay. So here, first thing I want the numerator value. In the new numerator, what we will take? We will take the total sales, right? So I am trying to calculate total sales which is my numerator value the total sales how you will calculate using some function sum of the sales column okay my numerator which is the each sales value it will create in the total sales now i'll give again shift enter one more variable i am creating for denominator in the denominator for example, to get the furniture percentage, what I have to do? The furniture sales divided by overall sales. If I have to get this value, this value should be freezed. Right? The total sales should be freezed and it should ignore any filters applied. So for that, what I am doing, I am taking total 
sales all all means i am applying the all filter i am ignoring any filters applied so how to apply this i want the total sales to be freezed how we can do that calculation calculate in this i can take the expression so i am taking this sum of the sales value sales column i am taking some function but what should happen it has to freeze with respect to this table right so i am taking all function all function will ignore any filters applied and it will freeze right so in the all i am taking the table name i'm just taking the table name and then i'll close this calculate function total sales all means this value right this value i want to freeze it then only i can use that as a denominator for that i am using calculate function in this the sales is coming from order sales so i am using the sum of that and then i am using the all function to freeze the value okay now again i'll give shift enter now numerator that is total sales you have denominator that is total sales all you have now how you can calculate this percentage contribution then i will use one more variable here which will give me the percentage okay here i'll write percentage percentage value the another variable which calculates this percentage for that what you have to do how this percentage value will be calculated numerator by denominator into 100 so now i will only take divide function numerator and denominator i will take okay the numerator is alternate result is an optional value for handling zero case error it optional value is this one so we'll take numerator and denominator the numerator will be our total sales the total sales variable which we have created can you see the difference here for the total sales the variable which we created it is showing here and the total sales all is also showing if you see it is having this symbol x symbol you have so take the total sales and then you should also pass denominator so what is the denominator total sales all this is the denominator and uh, alternate result you can give zero means when there is an exception right in that divide by zero case it will return this zero okay so i am just using this divide function now again i am giving shift enter now the final one what i have to return should i return total sales value or total sales all value or percentage value the final calculation you are using in this variable right variable per value means percentage value this variable only you want to return this value for that i am using return percentage value okay into 100 i have not done here i will directly use here here it is there right to display in percentage we have here so i will directly use that that's why i'm into 100 i am not doing in the percentage calculation now this value is getting returned right this value i am returning and now i'll click on enter now i will click on enter now i will come to this table this is your sales value and directly now i can give that percentage contribution so where is that which i have created percentage this is the measure right so i can i can select this and this percentage i will now change it to percentage format so i'll click just click on this can you see now this percentage i made it in a percentage format so this is the variable which is giving me the percentage each category how much percentage it is contributing so instead of creating multiple different measures using this variable concept if without this variable concept what we will do we will create multiple measures right for total sales we will create one measure total sales all to freeze the denominator value again one more measure we will create and 
percentage calculation for this again we will create one more measure instead of creating multiple measures like that in a single measure you can use this variables and you can return the final value so this measure this variable concept the variable concept is used to do multiple calculations logics calculations and finally return a value for that sake we will be using this variables now this variable you can use across right now i have used with respect to category now i will take one more table i'll take one more table here region wise i will show region i will take region wise sales i'll take and now this region wise i want to show the percentage again i need not create right i can reuse this variable so just i'll drag and drop this percentage here now if you see the percentage it is splitting across the region the same way i can reuse n number of times wherever i need i can reuse now i'll take one more um, table here and here i wanted to show sub category wise so i'll take the sub category i'll take the sales value and for this sub categories how much percentage it is contributing i want to see that value as well i need not create again any calculations i can directly use this variables inside this measure which i have created the measure is percentage inside this measure i have used all these variables and the final logic final result is available in this percentage va uh, value variable and that variable is being returned here in this measure the same measure the same measure percentage measure i am using in all this visual see here also i have used the same measure here also the same measure created once but i am reutilizing this for multiple purpose now as it is based on the logic we have provided in that measure it is automatically calculating this percentage so this is the use of variables in power bi thank you for watching this for more informative videos please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you